Um, what editor are you using? What actual editor are you using? Because actually, it's the thumbnails. It's the thumbnails that, that, that confuse the hell out of me because you just don't know what to put the thumbnail in because I think the thumbnail kind of grabs people. It, it does grab people, but it, you can use AI for thumbnails, but the th I don't know. I mean, it, it's just a difficult thing to, to kind of think and work out because, um, I mean, live streaming and streaming nonetheless is actually difficult, but then you've got to do all your your little youtube -y bits and your little bit of like, you know, your shorts for, for, you, for, for Facebook, Instagram, and all those kind of things. And I, I just don't know what it is. Yeah, thumbnails are hard work. Yeah, because you you never know what to put in the thumbnail, do you? You, you kind of had an idea, but the, the, there are ways of actually running your video. Uh. If, you, if you run a video through an AI scanner, and I think that there is one you can use, and it's actually on, um, if I bring this in. I don't know if you won't be able to see this, but what I'll have to do, I'll have to go to... Uh, um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is it here. Uh, Nasha showed us. Uh, it's called uh, VQ, VQ something or else. It, it can actually scan your video. It scans your video and then makes then does a suggested thumbnail. It scans the video and then makes a suggested thumbnail. That's why I make mine along with the same wavelength. You'll have to see. It. You'll have to sort of show me what you mean, because with with me, I I'm a very visual person. I tend to learn very visually. That's why I watch a lot of people. It's like with my streams. I, I watch a lot of people and I see what they do and I, I kind of pick up what they do. Um, it probably stems back a little bit from my um, teaching side. You know, like with, with equine side of things and everything else. But this, this tool, what it does, we can just log in. Uh, I search for a lot of uh, videos similar to that, to then I can create something along them lines. That, that actually doesn't sound a bad idea, to be fair. It doesn't actually sound like a bad idea. We'll close that, because we don't want that. Because if you, if you come here, look, I don't know if you can actually see it. We might have to just have to make this window just a little bit smaller so you can see it. Let's make this window a little bit smaller so you can see it. Oh, it's going to be a lot more smaller than that. There we go. So you've got down this long side, you've got today, optimize, generate thumbnails. So you can click on that and then you just drop it a, a video in here. And it scans along the video. Obviously it's subject to the length of the video. Um, and then it gives you a suggested thumbnail. So it's not, I, I don't know, I mean, I've done it quite a few times. I mean, what I'll do, I can drop a video. If I drop a video in there, maybe. I'll, I'll drop a video in there, actually. What I'll do, I'll drop a video in. Um, uh, yeah, video edits. Do, um grey zone chopper that we'll use that one i think we'll drop that in see so it analyzes the video it analyzes the video for you let me just bring that up a little bit because you don't you, that way you can, that way the address is you can see a little bit more of it um it just analyzes the video scans through it And then it actually builds a thumbnail for you. So, well, at the end of it, 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 it's generating the thumbnail now. And then you just have to kind of go through it a little bit. That was uh, Grey Zone Warfare. Did it do it or not? Did it do it or not? I don't know if it did it or not. 
But anyway, you, you, you kind of get the idea a little bit. If I drop one another one in there, maybe. Uh, that one. I'm going to drop that one in there. It's like scan through that one, see what happens. So it'll just analyse a video and then it'll just come up in a few minutes what it is. I mean, actually, uh, it was um, Nash who showed us it. Yeah, it's here, look. So it just goes through the actual video. I dropped the link in chat. I can drop it in again if you want. I, I dropped the link in chat. I can drop it in again if you want. That That's the site there. That's the site there. I don't know why it didn't actually do the other one. I'm not quite sure. There you go. So it comes up like this. You know, like that. And then, you know, you can, add, you can go down the list and maybe have a look a few more. It'll probably do another one. And then you, can, you just actually select the actual thing. But what, what I think it should really be able to do, that's really, yeah, it is good, isn't it? I think it's actually quite good because it saves a lot of time. I mean, I'm not very good with thumbnails anyway. I'm not really good with thumbnails anyway. Okay, you can just like do that and then you can just download it here. And then you can just add it onto yours. But uh, it's a shame you can't, hasn't got like an edit button where you can quite edit it so you can actually take things out or put things in that you want. I think that'd be quite good. It's, it's all right, it's actually quite good really. I think it's actually quite useful. Hi, Kill Kane. Oh, um, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of a demo of a game, actually, a little bit later, if you want to be joining us for a bit later. I'm going to, there's a, there's a, um, you guys have been playing, you know that um, supermarket simulator? There's, a, there's another game they're bringing up about Christmas. It's a horse farm simulator, which is, I think it's made by the same people. So I might actually play through that demo a little bit and just actually give a little, give a little bit of a feel and show you off what it is. Because I've not actually played through it yet, so it might be interesting to do. Oh, I'm, I'm now actually starting to record all of my VODs now. All of my videos are going to be recorded here, from here now. So basically what I'm going to do is actually that's what's basically what's going to be happening. Because um, I have have a few videos I've uploaded to YouTube. I've had a few videos on YouTube and they've got silenced or whatever or they've gone on TikTok uh, and there's certain things in the video, you know, like like uh, drop like um, sound alerts that's got copyright, uh, new copyright sounds in it which then uh, TikTok just kicks off at you and then silence the 